If there's any area of photography that excites me, it's shooting after dark. Together with my assistant, we're going to demonstrate the photographic techniques that will make your images come alive after the sun has set. Painting with light is one of the most fun and creative things that you can do with your camera. And at its heart is long exposure photography. Long exposure is deliberately keeping the shutter open for longer durations, allowing moving elements within your frame to become blurred. Here we're using an EOS 6D, but you could apply the same techniques to any DSLR. Crucially, you'll need to keep your camera still while you take these shots, so you'll need a sturdy tripod and maybe a cable release. If you set your camera to TV and select a long exposure, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, then the camera will adjust your aperture to compensate and you'll get shots like this. You can already see that the most dramatic transformation is to the car lights as they move through the frame. The next step is to actually paint with light. This statue is quite dramatic. It wouldn't make a good shot as it is, but it's perfect for light painting. If you shine a bright light onto a subject whilst taking a picture, you can control where the light falls and give it a three-dimensional feel. Shooting in manual, I've set my aperture to f8 for a good depth of field, the ISO to 100 and a shutter speed of 30 seconds. Here's where it gets interesting. We can light and create dramatic effects on the statue using pretty much anything that glows. You can experiment using different light sources, intensities and colours. It takes a bit of trial and error, but that's the fun bit, isn't it? Taking these kind of shots in cities is inspiring because there's plenty of things to shoot in light. But if you go somewhere where it's really dark, where there's no light pollution, you can work with even longer exposures for even more dramatic effect. This bridge in the middle of nowhere looks like the perfect setting for a great light painting example. You'll need a longer shutter speed to give you time to move around your subject with your lights, something like 30 seconds. Or you can set the camera to bulb and use a remote release to hold the shutter open for as long as you need. Next, you'll need to set your aperture to give you the required depth of field, in this case, f5.6. Finally, use your ISO to set the right exposure for your background, in this case, the sky. As well as two LED lights, I'm using my head torch, my phone, and two other small torches. You don't need much to create a picture that looks like you've used a truck full of lights. Once you've got a feeling for painting with light, you can achieve some stunning results.